America is many things to many people. To a 17-year-old kid, it's the malt shop on the corner. To Grandpa, it's the front porch in the cool of the evening. <laughs> to Mother and her family, it's church on Sunday morning. And to Dad, it's his favorite relaxation. <laughs> It's the Cracker Barrel philosophers in Crabtree Corners. And it's the tycoons in Wall Street. It's all races, creeds, and religions. It's freedom to work at the job you like. Freedom of speech and to peaceably assemble. Freedom to own property. Security from unlawful search or seizure. Where's your warrant, Flatfoot? the right to a speedy and public trial. <coughs> Protection against cruel punishments and excessive fines. <coughs> the right to vote and to worship God in your own way. It is these freedoms that have made America strong. Okay, okay, so we got our freedom, but management's lousing up everything. Labor is at fault. It's ruining the country. My constituents, as your elected representative, I can assure you labor's right, management's right. I'm strictly neutral. Labor, management, politicians, phooey. Oh, they can't tell court. item for the first time in this country it isn't going to cost you one cent all you have to do is sign this little scrap of paper and you get your bottle absolutely free i hereby turn over to ism incorporated everything i have including my freedom and the freedom of my children and my children's children in return for which said ism promises to take care of me forever Pardon me. Pardon me. And who are you, my good man? I'm John Q. Public. Ah, oh, my fine friend, you're just in time to share this generous and gigantic offer. Sign right here. Mm. Mind if I read it first? Hurry up, Don't Diane. bother to leave. Ah, oh, no, I was here first. Oh, no, 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 Keep no. your shirts on, boys. You know, including my freedom. Freedom? Well, sign away my freedom. Why, this is ridiculous. Don't be corny, brother. <laughs> sure, our system of free enterprise isn't perfect. But before we throw it away for some imported double talk, let's turn the clock back a few years to see what it's done for us. For example, back in the 1890s, Joe Dokes was just a guy who liked to tinker around his barn. Some people thought Joe was lazy. Some even thought he was nuts. But one day, he had an idea. And because he was free to dream his dream and tinker, Joe had a chance to make something of himself and his idea. So, Some people didn't think so much of Joe's idea. But that didn't stop him. So Joe got some money from young Aunt Minnie, and Uncle Angus, and Grandpappy, and Mr. Titus. 
when Joe's friends and relatives used their savings to help him buy tools and property, they were capitalists. Don't blush, folks. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Now, naturally, Joe needed some help. So he hired Willie Lumpkin, who was out of work anyway, and before long, Willie had the know-how and became skilled labor. Because capital, management, and labor worked together, Joe's idea grew. It grew and did things even he never dreamed of. Today, the automobile industry provides millions of jobs that never existed before. And remember, this is a story of only one industry. There are thousands more scattered all over the United States whose history of development is pretty much the same. We've built a country under the American system that sends more young people to high school and college than all the rest of the world combined. Why, even in the Depression, our wages bought more food, clothing, travel, and entertainment than the wages of any other people in the world. Our country has a national income equal to the total national incomes of any other six nations in the world. With only 7% of the Earth's we drive 70% of the world's automobiles. That's just a sample of the things the capitalistic system has given us in only 160 years. Before signing up, you boys ought to try a little taste of Dr. Ism's formula to see what you'd get in exchange for your freedom. Go ahead, try it. You can't do this to me! I'll strike! The state forbids strikes. Wait till the union hears about this! Ah, yes, the Union. Welcome to our ranks, number 1313. I'll take this case to the Supreme Court. The state is the Supreme Court. Our decision is as follows. No more private property. No more you. Farm vote will put a stop to this. Farmers don't vote anymore. Well, what'll I do for seed next year? You won't have to worry about next year. The state will do your planning from now on. We must fight to regain our freedom, or everything is lost. Everything! Everything is fine. 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 When anybody preaches disunity, tries to pit one of us against the other through class warfare, race hatred, or religious intolerance, you know that person seeks to rob us of our freedom and destroy our very lives. And we know what to do about it. And now, gentlemen, no violence, please. And don't throw those bottles. Don't throw those bottles. No, 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 no. Working together to produce an ever greater abundance of material and spiritual values for all. That is the secret of American prosperity. 